was the eighth chapter. And starting at the 14th verse. And these are the words of King Solomon. And for those of you in the know, you understand that King Solomon was actually our Lord Yahweh in the reincarnation. And I'm going to just throw this out there. <laughs> this is not for the faint-hearted, man. The casual Israelite. No, this is only reserved for the serious-minded. Those who are spiritually invested in this thing. Who understand the power in which you serve. So what we read right here, which is the words of King Solomon, is actually our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. So you can understand. See? Proverbs 8 and 14, it says, Counsel is mine. <laughs> Counsel is mine. So this is what you're a part of. The wise counsel of Yahweh Shah. And we're going to see what it leads to. It says, in sound wisdom, I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign. See, by me, kings reign. And princes decree justice. By me, princes rule. <laughs> see, by this counsel. Princes rule. And nobles. And nobles. Even all the judges of the earth. See? So by where this council, this wise council, rulership is established. So that's why, again, this is written right here in the book of Revelation, the first chapter. And again, the sixth verse. And have made us kings and priests. See? And have made us <laughs> kings and priests unto the Most High and His Father. To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. See? Or let it be so. So by who do kings reign? By who we have been made kings and priests? Well, it would be through none other than our Lord Yahweh Shah. And through his counsel, which is in the form of this doctrine, and this truth will never present it. 